What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here. In this video, I'm gonna walk through Facebook ads targeting. Now, this one is gonna be specifically for real estate agents, but honestly, I'm gonna be able to break down and share with you guys a lot of different things, whether you're a real estate agent, mortgage broker, you've got a local business, whatever business that you're in, and just share with you guys some of the things that have worked for me and I've seen work for other businesses that I've worked with. So right here, we are in the Facebook Ads Manager. Let's just jump into this, okay? Also, real quick, actually, before we jump in, if you guys want my Facebook Ads mini course, um, just drop a comment down below, thumbs up this video, and I'll share that with you. We walk through the Facebook Ads Manager in detail. We walk through the Facebook Pixels, Lead Forms, all of the different components to the Facebook Ads Manager, really how... Um, I've gone through and seen success, the, the success that I've seen with other business owners. So that'll help you get a really good jump start with all this stuff. So anyway, drop a comment down below, give it a thumbs up, and um, I'll share that link with you. So anyway, guys, let's just jump in and start creating a new ad campaign. Now, since this is more specific to Facebook ads targeting, it really doesn't matter like which you know type of campaign objective we're choosing here obviously each campaign objective if you watch some of my other videos it really depends on your end goal like traffic is obviously bringing people to your website or your blog engagements getting likes or comments video views is obviously getting people to watch your video and so forth so for this one let's just keep it basic and use traffic because this is more focused on the targeting and how we're gonna set all that up so we're just gonna say traffic and then we'll say targeting demo. Okay, so we'll just hit continue. And now coming in here, um, if I have something in mind, like as far as like how I want to set up the audience targeting all that, I'll name it right at the beginning. If I don't, then I'll kind of go through, I'll build it out, and then I'll name it afterwards. So I kind of remember what this ad set's all about. Obviously, if it's like towards my warm market or towards like a cold market, or if I'm trying to target a specific type of people or interests or whatever it might be. Now, um, if you guys want kind of like the warm marketing stuff, that's that's not gonna be necessarily in this video. This is more for like Facebook ads targeting for that cold audience, like people that don't already know who you are. And so this one's gonna be specific to real estate as I was talking about a little bit earlier. But a lot of these same concepts and strategies apply even if you're just a local business owner. So if you got a local restaurant, gym, you know, you're a chiropractor, dentist, a lot of these things still will work. Okay, so if we come down here, um, this custom audience, this is more going through and targeting your warm market or even look like audiences. But what we want to do, so like let's say we're, uh, we are a real estate agent in... Where should we be from Denver? We'll say we're from Denver. Okay, so like on this locations part right here We're gonna exit out of the United States. Okay, and we are gonna type in Denver Colorado I lived there for a few years when I was a kid. So we'll type that in so um, Now what we like to do what I like to do If I'm a realtor, I like to choose on this locations by default. It says everyone in this location now this could be people visiting the area it could be people just passing through and we don't want to necessarily target those people with our ads if you know we're let's say we're targeting homeowners right so I like to go through and say hey only people who live in this location whereas like if you run a travel based business obviously you can have like people traveling this location people people recently in this location um, I don't know why you would really use that I don't really have any exact examples for you right now or if you're like, let's say your restaurant, you would maybe probably want to do everyone in this location. So we're going to use people who live in this location for the real estate example. And then look at this, guys. We've got 2 million people because Denver's a fairly large market, right? It's a decent size. And this is going out 25 mile radius. So this is probably a little bit bigger market than we really want to work with. So what we'll probably do is come down here. And we can take this down to just a 10 mile radius and we'll see this This is 1.3 million Which you know if depending on the area how well you know it like from Littleton to Thornton like that's a pretty good distance So you might not want to have that big of an area of that big of a market If you live in more of a small town rural area You might want to do like that 10 20 25 mile radius just to get that number up, right? But we're not really considered about number like the audience size right here because we've got 1.3 million people so I might even come down here and click on this arrow and just click current city only Okay, because you're still gonna have 1.1 million because Denver is obviously a very large area. Okay, so um, That's kind of like the difference there where 
choose the location. If you're a realtor, choose people who live in this location. And then based on how big the audience size is, if, like if you're in a rural area, do a 20 mile radius. If you're in a big area, I would try to get that number down. Like if you're in a rural area, I would try to get this number up to 100,000 if possible. If it's not possible, it's just the way it is. And I, I would just stick to you know the 70,000, 80,000 people, 50,000, whatever that number is, right? Now scrolling down here, if we got to just think of like our ideal target audience, right? So if I'm a realtor and I'm looking to um, generate leads of people looking to buy or sell a home, people that are 18 years old, typically the ones at least I know, like I've got a younger brother that's 18, he's not looking to buy or even sell a home, right? So I would probably bump this up to about minimum age, I would say 27, 28. Obviously, you know your area a lot better than I do. But you can see here, this dropped this down to 810,000 people right there. Now, obviously, the market of people looking to buy or sell a home, this does go up to 65 plus, so I would just leave it there. Gender, really, it doesn't matter. Male, female, like, it, it, like it's, it's the same, right? Both uh, male and female are going to be all looking for to buy or sell a home and all that stuff. So um, just leave that there. Languages. Once again, if you want to target specifically like the Hispanic market or just English speakers, honestly, I wouldn't really worry about just like targeting English. And the reason why, and I'm going to get to this a little bit more here in a second, is the more specific you get with your targeting, what I've seen is just an overall higher cost per lead. Okay, so honestly, like what I like to do is sometimes, sometimes I'll actually set up ad campaigns. And I will do absolutely zero targeting. I'll, I'll just let the pixel go to work and find the right people to go through and opt in as leads for my, my advertising campaigns. And honestly, a lot of those have been some of my better performing campaigns, which I know it's very hard to believe, but sometimes the more data you give Facebook, the more specific you try to be, it like complicates it too much. And you're trying to get like narrowed down to just a few specific people. And then there's so many other people trying to compete with those same people. But then there's some other ones that are not in that audience that are being left out, but they're like your ideal target market, right? So that's why I don't like to get too specific with this. Now, some people may disagree with me. Um, in my experience, in the amount of money I've spent on Facebook ads, that, that is what I would highly recommend for, for you if you're just getting started or kind of that inter intermediate level. Okay, so language, I would just leave it. And then depending on whether you know, you're looking for buyers or sellers, or like people interested in your restaurant or whatever it might be, you can go through and mess around with the targeting here. So like for example, if you're looking for, for um, let's say homeowners, okay? So you got like homeowners right here, homeowner association, demographic homeowners right there. You click on that. So that would be a good audience probably if you're looking to work with sellers, right? Now, once again, I would put this for sellers, a seller lease campaign, but if you're looking for buyers, I would actually probably leave this open-ended. Now, I would leave this open-ended for probably the first week or 10 days of this advertising campaign running. I would get the results in, I would get some leads, and then I'd call these leads and kind of see like, okay, are they qualified leads? Like, what, what what's kind of been the overall feel of all these leads? And then I would tweak things after I've run it for a maybe a week or two, right? The reason why is because once I've gone through and I've gotten some leads for you know two to five dollars per lead, whatever the the lead cost is, Facebook's kind of a little bit better trained as to who are the mo people more likely to opt into our landing page. Okay, so it tr it's it's called training the pixel. So the Facebook pixel is basically Facebook's tracking mechanism, and so that's what we want to go through and use. And the more data we give Facebook, just the better it works. It just it just does. And so the less detailed targeting we have right out of the gate, it actually works better for us. And then as I mentioned earlier, guys, if you know it's not working super great in a week or two, I'd come in here and tighten up that, that detailed targeting there. So maybe throw in homeowners, maybe throw in like something like they're interested in Trulia or Zillow or Realtor.com. Because if they're like into those sites, the, it, there's high potential that they are in the market to go through and buy or sell their home. Right, because if they're surfing on those, it's just that's just kind of how it is. So now we come down, and that's pretty much it as far as like the targeting. But part of the targeting is knowing where to place your ad and where people are hanging out. Okay, so um, depending on your budget, if like if you're just starting out, like 
if I'm targeting a warm market, so people who've already visited my website, people that are already on my email list, people that have already watched my video, I just typically do the automatic placements, which is recommended, they say, uh, which will I'll put it on Facebook, Instagram, like pretty much all over the place. Any place that Facebook can, can put it, your ads, they'll put it there. But if you're just doing strictly like you're wanting to target a cold audience, the best performing one is the news feeds. Okay, so I would just uncheck everything here. Just coming down, uncheck Instagram, uncheck audience network, uncheck messenger. And if you do like, if you do want to use Instagram and you want to try, try to test that out, I would create another ad set with this exact same format and then make that one just Instagram news feeds and then uncheck the Facebook news feeds. So I would keep them separate so you know which results are coming from where. Because like I've had some ad sets where like Instagram works actually better than Facebook news feeds, but overall majority Facebook news feeds will work better than the Instagram news feeds, right? Now coming down here, um, the budget, obviously this is kind of up to you. Starting out, I typically recommend for real estate agents to, to start with 10 bucks a day. Obviously, that depends on how much money you really have to invest into advertising. If you don't have that much, you know, go down to five bucks a day, or you can go as high as 20 bucks a day, or you can even go like this. Instead of a daily budget, do a lifetime budget. Okay, so like, let's say maybe we've got $100 to spend, and we'll spend it over the next month. So May 24th to June 24th. And that's kind of how we'll put that together. Okay, so so that's pretty much it. Then we just hit continue and we set up the ad, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? And if you guys have questions on how to set up the ad, once again, that Facebook ads mini course, hundred percent free. My gift to you is you guys just as a subscriber, um, I hook you guys up with that training there. So just comment down below, thumbs up the video, whatever. Just ask for it, we'll give it to you, no problem. Okay, so anyway, hopefully this helped though with the Facebook ads. Targeting and knowing how to go through and segment the audiences how big the audience size should be and Just some different things as far as like Not getting too targeted with our interests But being able to go through and after we get some data in being able to like kind of like tighten that up a little bit So anyway guys if you guys have any questions make sure you drop them down below I try to answer all the questions here on the channel um, also if you found this helpful go ahead give it a thumbs up and you guys are brand new here make sure you guys subscribe because we launch new videos every single week showing you how to generate more leads make more money and grow your business so thanks again for watching guys and with that said we will see you all later